Oh my goodness, I am so super happy with the way this painting has turned out. It is super, super gorgeous. Have a look. Really, really love the final result. I really love the final result. If you want to see how I've created this painting, stick around. The process is coming up. Now. Hello everyone, it's Benedict here, Simply Be Fluid Art from Cape Town. Thank you for joining me. So this is the painting that I've done in my previous video. It dried absolutely gorgeously and I'm loving the neutral background with just the blooms on top, leaving some negative space really really gorgeous outcome so if you haven't seen this video i'm going to put the link at the top for you now please go and spend some time with me i'd really appreciate it and you'd also be helping my channel but let's take a closer look so those are that's the sides it's a deep edge canvas dried absolutely beautiful and gorgeous I'm going to do a resin coat on this painting. It's a 40 by 60 centimeters and really, really, really stunning. I also wanted to show you some of the coasters that I've just done. I did this coasters 24 hours ago and look how beautiful it dried. But the interesting thing about these coasters is that it has my own sun activator. I am not using any Floetrol in this, uh, in my coasters or my blooms. It is my own cell activator mix. I don't use any oils or any Floetrol and I am uh, getting ready to market my product and to put it into retail stores because I think it's a game changer. For anybody you, doing blooms, it's a real game changer from having to import Australian Floetrol just to mix up a cell activator. I've mixed up a phthalo blue. So this is my regular White House paint. I use Durham Wall Sheen in low sheen uh, paint, White House paint. And I've used some Builders uh, Painters Tint, color tint in phthalo blue to give it a, sh a beautiful shade. Um, let me find the canister. Here it is. This is the wall paint that I use for my blooms. It is quite thick, so I do thin it down with a little bit of water to make it nice and fluid. And I'm going to be applying that to my canvas now. So if you've been watching my videos, I have a certain process that I follow. <laughs> So I work my way from the ins from the outside to the inside and it helps me just to get an even layer of paint. I've mixed up about 750 grams. I don't put all the paint on the canvas. I leave some in the container for touch-ups. And now I'm going to spread it to the four corners. And you can see how nice and fluid it is, but there is a lot of paint on this canvas that will be spun off um, and over the sides. Stretching it out like this just helps me to level it out and make sure that it's even. There we go. Right. I'm going to just give it a gentle spin. making sure that I'm covering um, most of the canvas. I'm going to, I don't yet know what's going to happen on the canvas. I do know that I'm going to do a bloom, but I don't know what's going to happen on the canvas. So I'm spreading the paint over all four sides, making sure that I've got my sides covered already. And the reason for that is that I want to... Um, I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to keep some negative space. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. 
gorgeous. So I do scoop up all the, the paint that is lying on the side on my plastic and I use it as a base color for my for my coasters. So there's no waste. There's really no wasting of paint. Um, I make sure that I use all the paint and all the excess again. Okay. All right, let me torch this to get rid of the air bubbles. My colors, um, I'm going for a um, soft blend of blues as well as a black um, pearl white and some gold. I'm also going to add in be adding some titanium white to that uh, bloom color mix um, because I want the white also to show out perhaps around the edges as I've said I don't really know what's going to happen on the canvas uh, we'll see you know the canvas will, <laughs> will do what it needs to do so this is a color called ocean blue I'm going to be using the ocean blue then I have a metallic turquoise, a nice deep turquoise. These are all local brands of paint. I mainly use Dollar Metallics and I use Zalcraft as well as Iris. This is a black. My pearl white that I love to use in my bloom pores. This is a metallic gold and this is a titanium white that I'm going to be using. So let's put down the colors. I'm going to do perhaps just go with the black first. Um, yeah, let's do a bloom right there. Black, I'm going to do white on top of the black. Then I'm going to go for the ocean blue. Little bit of gold. Then the metallic turquoise. I'm going to do the pearl white on top of that. And then my cell activator. I'm using my own cell activator. There's no oil in this. There's no Floetrol in this. It is my own recipe that I'm going to market. And I'm going to retail my products. So it will be available in stores in South Africa really, really soon. I'm just picking up my blow dryer. Now I want to talk to you about this blow dryer quickly. So it is a Condia, it is a, you know, a cheap China Mart hair dryer and it's got a louvre front. So I love using a blow dryer with the louvre front because it helps me to direct the airflow. I use it on a high, high E, high airflow on a cooler setting. I blow straight into the middle. So I do blow directly into the center of the bloom puddle, spread that cell activator over the colors, and then I'm going to spread the petals from the outside. So I don't work in the inside again. I only blow from the edges outwards. Love that. So I love these hard lines, just giving a very defined petal shape. I'm going to define it even further. I want to just do some uh, 
splitting just pulling in that um, paint from the outer edge towards the inside just look at that beautiful detail happening there I'm going to give it a gentle spin and I do spin in both directions and the reason why I do that is to keep the equilibrium of the bloom shape so when I spin it to the left it's going to push the petals this way and when I spin it to the right it's going to push these petals out so it's just for equilibrium and this is a very very gentle spin you don't want to go overboard because you want to maintain the integrity of your blue I'm loving that let's do another one loving the colors eh? just just gorgeous 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 all right let me do a bloom right here you don't want to go too close to the edge um, when you're laying down your puddle because you don't want your bloom all of your blue you don't want all of your bloom to be falling over your over the sides right i can't remember in what order i put down the colors but <laughs> anyway i think it'll be fine either way Cell activator and going to blow that out. That is just super, super exciting to create. Super exciting to create. Look at that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> but I want to do another bloom. I love the idea of three blooms on a canvas, but I'm going to go for a little tiny one right there just for balance in my canvas. And it's definitely going to overlap and I don't mind that, but I'm going to do just a tiny, tiny bloom right there. Just can't go wrong with three blooms on a canvas. <laughs> These are my bloom flowers. I love doing them. They make me so happy and, uh, and excited to do my next one. So what color should I do for the background in my next one? Perhaps pink or light uh, light violet or lilac or mauve um, let me know in the comments below what color background you'd like to see next in my bloom pores with negative space right So blowing into the center of my bloom first really helps me to, me to keep that center defined and then blowing out the petals along the edges helps to create that depth in this flower, in this head of this flower. So that's my process and I really, really enjoy doing it that way. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Okay. I do think, <laughs> I do think this painting needs another two blooms, perhaps. Uh, from my vantage point, you know, my paintings need to have balance. And, and so the three blooms are really not doing it for me. So I'm going to add a tiny bloom right here and one right there. And I think it's just going to finish off the painting for me. So let me just give this a tiny spin. Just a tiny spin. Oops. <laughs> going in the other direction as well. There we go. Loving that. Oh, I'm loving that. That just gave it some organic movement. I'm loving that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, I think I'm going to do just a tiny blow. Just a tiny blow out with my breath. One right here and one over there, just there. So it's important for me to do this. I'm not going to be happy if I'm going to allow this painting even to dry just a little bit and then I haven't worked on the balance. That is important for me. Okay, let's, let's get the gold down. Um, all right, this is it. I've added the two extra blooms. There you'll see the little tiny bloom part of this painting and I am oh my goodness I am so super happy with the way this painting has turned out it is super super gorgeous have a look really really love the final result.